Hey guys, welcome back to Being Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who's in our fifth year of homeschooling. I'm a first grader and a fifth grader. And today I wanna to talk with you about the mini luck series. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. So let me give you just a little bit of context. What are we talking about today? I was prepping myself for video filming today and I was thinking about the things that I wanted to talk about and this little like little rhyme came to my mind and said, if it isn't fun, it won't get done which the flip side of, if it's fun, it will get done, right? So that is where this curriculum piece comes into play. Now, you guys know I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of the Timberdoodle non-religious curriculum kits. I love them. I start, as since I found them when my oldest was in second grade was our first year using them, that's my base for everything. I like figure that out and then piece everything else in for our year, every year, love it. I absolutely love it. I can't believe that I'll be doing end of year kit recaps like next month, like a couple weeks. It's so close. I can't believe it. Um, but as I get kind of, I try to start like the year with like the big pieces, right? Like reading and math and stuff like that. And as we get closer to the end of the year, I tend to do more like sharing what was in our kit, but like the fun stuff. And that my friends is where Timberdoodle sets themselves apart. Timberdoodle curates these kits, puts them together. They're a family owned company. They're doing awesome. I adore every single person I've ever worked with right down to having to get help from customer service and solve some issues. They're amazing and I love them. And I just, I'm so glad that I found them because they always expose me to things I just did not know existed, but like fun and amazing and educational play and I, just like that is my vibe as a mom and as a homeschooler, that is like my sweet spot. I love it. So most of their stuff is uh, religious based, but they do put together not secular, but like non-religious curriculum kits. So they're neutral and then you can customize them. Fully customizable, absolutely love it. Because they include things that are absolutely amazing in their kits that I have never once heard of, I have now been exposed to, uh, last year we had Bambino Luck for our kindergarten year, and this year we have the Mini Luck. Now, what is this? You have no idea. Let me explain. Let me explain it to you. It is like this crazy, amazing plastic contraption that's like hinged and has these little tile pieces and it comes with like a massive stack of books. And somehow somebody put the brain power into figuring out how you can use this controller and these tile pieces to do all kinds of easy brain teasing, brain challenger learning. And it's so amazing because let me tell you why, because, 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 because they put it in a nice storage box for you because they're thinking and your child after being taught how can use it entirely independently. Mana! That's right, friends. Entirely independently. All by themselves. That's right. That's amazing if you ask me because well, I like things that I can be like, well, your sister's not done yet. You need something to do. Here's a hands-on. It's fun. They can choose. I don't even know how many books are in here. Let's find out together, friends. Let's see, high IQ kids, oh, that's right. Uh, how many books does it say? It says for ages five to seven, it, it doesn't say. Okay, this includes the mini luck controller, 14 workbooks, skill chart, teacher, parent teacher guide, and my first mini luck workbook. It is for critical thinking, concentration, everyday knowledge, visual perception, math, and geometry because my six year old needs to know geometry. Improve critical learning and thinking skills. So, uh, yep. That's amazing and I'm all about it. The little controller, there's a picture, but I'm gonna give you a downshot in just a second. But the moral of the story is I love this, absolutely love this. It is in both the first grade regular kit that they offer and the first grade non-religious kit. You can also purchase it as like a la carte piecemeal. It's awesome, it's amazing. It says strengthens fine motor skills, enhances eye hand coordination, promotes self-esteem, improves memory and concentration, boosts visual, visual perception, develops critical thinking ability, fosters abstract thinking and higher order thinking skills, builds foundations for reading, writing and math, all of the things. Now, I like that there's a chart that tells you like what everything is because it's like color coded and they've worked really hard on doing that. But let me tell you, there's a cheat sheet to that. Well, I mean, I guess that is the cheat sheet. But if you look right here, 
on the top of the book, it tells you the ages, five, six, seven, and then math. And then it tells you the skill level and the more filled in, the higher the level. So it also gives you grades and ages down here. So, I mean, you could probably associate that with like five, six, seven, and it's that easy, but it's so stinking cool that you lay the controller on this and somehow they solve problems and their brain grows and they get brilliant and it's amazing. And I'm gonna give you a down shot and I'm gonna give you a little example. I'm gonna show you my babe doing it because well, it's fun and it's entertaining and everybody likes that kind of thing. So this is so cool, it's amazing. I like the concept of it, that it is easy. It all goes in this nice little box that just slides right into her school cabinet. I really like that. I like that it covers so many topics and I'll show you that again when I give you the down shot. Uh, but if you, you don't know what you don't know. And that's one of the glorious things about the Timber Doodle curriculum kits and I'm so excited because it's almost time to order again. And I always get that, like, you know, why do you do this? because they do the work for me. We've talked about this a lot. I am not the one who wants to source all the things by myself. I want the package, I want the open and go, and I'm okay with dipping my foot into like making from scratch and not like curriculum from scratch, but like, you know, okay, I know I didn't necessarily care for X, so I'm gonna omit that from my customized kit because that's another thing I absolutely love. And I'm gonna plug in this other piece that I went and found and source. But I like that I can trust them and I do for 95% of it and then just put my own little fluff on that 5%. So I absolutely love that. I love the exposure that I get to things that I did not know existed, which forces us to be fun. It forces us to do things like teach the kids to play chess with Storytime Chess because it showed up. I just love the pieces we've been exposed to and I really, really appreciate them for putting together such amazingly awesome curated kits. And this is just one of the awesome and amazing pieces that comes in the first grade non-religious curriculum kit. So let's go ahead and do the down shot and then we'll come back here for um, just a little wrap up. Okay guys, so here it is, the mini luck. It all fits in this super cute box. It comes with the uh, sheet that explains which, what every single book covers with the levels, all of that, which is really awesome, right down to what page, which is so cool. There's the parent teacher guide. Again, it all fits in this nice, like it's like cardboard, but it's really stout, which I think is awesome. Um, and then there are, let's go through, shall we? I don't think these are in any particular order. Uh, my first mini like workbook, developmental skills. So this is just a little bit of everything. Teddy and Mousy, critical thinking, concentration, training to visual discrimination games, visual perception, more playing with colors and shapes, visual perception, theme-based learning, cheeky in the wintertime, concentration training for concentration, more brain jogging for critical thinking, visual perception, visual perception games, cheeky in the summertime, theme-based learning, count to six for math, count to 10 for math, critical thinking, brain jogging, visual perception, playing with shapes and colors, and then math, basic geometry and more. So I'm just gonna open one of these up, okay? And it comes with all of this, which is amazing. And stack neatly, good quality books too. All of the pages are like kind of stout, so they last, which is good because you're playing with them a lot. And again, my daughter can pull this out and do this all by herself. Now here's how it works if you are confused, okay? <clears throat> so you open it up and you lay your controller on the page just like this. And then these are, see, one to one, here we go. Okay, so once they're in the right spot, which is really easy because it's just like matching one to one. Okay, so what you do as you look up here. Now it tells you there's a one here and it looks like this, okay? This is a tiny little corner of something that you can see down here. So it's just a tiny piece of it. So you know that one goes in the spot right there because it matches. There, That's where number two goes, okay? And you just continue like so until you get it done, till you have them in the right order based on what you're seeing. It's such a fun learning approach, I think. Now, here's what you do. Okay, watch, this is the magic. Close it, flip it, and the pattern matches. And that's how you know you got it right. You match the pattern. How cool is that? 
Guys, I really hope that you found any of that helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Uh, just a little pro tip, okay? So I have heard this and I think it is just absolutely brilliant. Say you buy the first grade curriculum kit, it shows up, it has tons of fun and amazing games, pieces, art things, as well as your core subjects. Take some of these guys, pe people take these, some things, and they just stash them away for a holiday, for a birthday, to bring out mid-year, instead of having them all available at once. And also my kids, like I have to beat them off with a stick before I get the things into their cabinet. Um, but so many of these will come out for summer before they even get started. So these, it's such an amazing piece. The things that they've curated are such amazing pieces that they are fun, that they want to be done. They're reinforcing the skills that you're teaching, but it also is a treat. Okay, so just keep in mind that you don't have to bring it all out at once. You can you can stash some of it because they are amazing gift ideas as well. So guys, yeah, I think that's it. Go try out uh, either Bambino Luck, which I do. I'll try to have remembered some point during this video to link that, but amazing and fun. And then also uh, the Mini Luck for a little bit older uh, because it's just, it's brilliant. It's an absolutely brilliant design and I'm in love.